Welcome. We're going to be learning all about absolute value. Absolute value is the distance from zero. This is 2 3 practice and problem solving on Envision for sixth grade. Sixth grade, 2 3, topic two for Envision sixth grade. Here we go. Let's learn about absolute value. Now, absolute value means the distance from zero, and you're going to notice these signs here. You see those two parallel lines on the negative 43? Those are what I'm talking about. So let me show you. So you'll have two parallel lines. My line got a little shaky there. But let's say the absolute value of 5 and then the absolute value of negative 5 we're going to do. Okay, here we go. This is just to teach you about absolute value. Absolute value means the distance from 0. So the absolute value of 5, 5 is how far away from 0? That's right. It's 5 away. So the absolute value of 5 is 5. Now the absolute value of negative 5 is, well, negative 5 is how far away from 0? That's right, 5. Do you notice a little pattern here? Absolute value of 5 is 5. Absolute value of negative 5 is also 5. So you would think it's always positive, and that is true. It is always positive. Distance is always positive. However, if we put a sign on the outside, guys, if we put a sign on the outside like this, a negative sign, which the negative sign means the opposite. What this means is this negative sign means the opposite of the absolute value of 5. Well, for this, the absolute value of 5 is 5, and then the opposite of 5 is negative 5. So you see when the sign's on the outside, that means it's going to be the opposite. This next one says negative absolute value negative of negative 5. Well, what that means is the opposite of the absolute value of negative 5. So first you do the absolute value of negative 5 is 5, and then the opposite of that with the sign on the outside makes it negative 5 here. If you memorize that and just put any number in, that will tell you how this works. All right, let's get on with the lesson. So here we go, on with the lesson. Let me just erase that. Okay, and we'll go here. Absolute value of negative 43 would be 43 there. Hope you're having a great day today, learning about absolute value here. Absolute value of 4.5 is 4.5. Thanks for coming back and checking out our Envision here. I hope I give you some extra tips that are helpful to you. Now, the absolute value of negative 3 and 1 third is just 3 and 1 third. Absolute value of negative 1 and 3 fourths is 1 and 3 fourths. I'm hitting backslash there. There's a little shortcut, so I don't have to hit the tools. Absolute value of negative 16 is 16. Absolute value is the distance from zero. Absolute value, distance from zero. More times you hear that, right, the better. Absolute value of 1.5, well, that's 1.5 away. Notice how all these are pretty much positive. You'll be using these when we get to the coordinate grid to find distance. You know, the coordinate grid, the, the x and the y axis. If one's here and one's here, you got to do the absolute value from the y-axis, for example, and then add those absolute values up. So, uh, guys, you're going to get to make this a little more enrichment. Like, for example, absolute value of negative 8 plus the absolute value of 5. So that would be like 8 plus 5 or 13. You see how we're, exp we're going to expand it? Okay, but, but for now, the absolute value of negative 8 and 2 thirds is just 8 and 2 thirds. And absolute value of negative 5 and 1 fourth is just 5 and 1 fourth. Okay, now you're going to do a lot of these where you put them in order from least to greatest. Remember, um, what, here, here's a hot tip. I like to write what they are on top or bottom. So absolute value of negative 6 is 6. This one's 5. 
this is 19 and this is zero. So now greatest to least, you can uh, clearly see what, we, what we're working with. So this one was 19. <clears throat> this one is the absolute value of negative six, which seems a little strange to put a negative there, like that's greater, but the absolute value of negative six is six, as I wrote there. Absolute value of negative five and the absolute value of zero. And hopefully you're just following right along with me as we do this on your Envision 2.3 practice on problem solving. Now least to greatest. Absolute value of 8 is 8. Absolute value of negative 2 is 2. Absolute value of negative 11 is 11. Absolute value of negative 2 and 51 hundredths is, is 2 and 51 hundredths. Least to greatest. Smallest one is the absolute value of negative 2. Or wait, yeah. And then, yeah, then the negative 2.51. Then the absolute value of 8. And then the greatest one is the absolute value of negative 11. All right, so let's see if we got that. Good. All the clicking, you know what I mean? Okay, last one. Uh, two goldfish swim in a tank. The position of fish A relative to the top of the tank is negative 25 centimeters. So that means, like, here's the top of the tank, and it's down negative 25 centimeters where the water level up here is zero. The position of fish B is negative 29 centimeters. So use the absolute value of negative 25 and the absolute value of negative 29 to represent the depths of the fish. Compare the depths. Which fish is closer to the top of the tank? Well, here, the absolute value of negative 25 is 25. The absolute value of negative 29 is 29. So that would mean that this one is the greater one because of the absolute value. And the goldfish, so now we got to go back up here and see uh, which goldfish is, so A, so the closest one to the tank would be the, the smaller absolute value. Well, and that's it, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning about absolute value. My name is Jason Jacobs. Come back and visit to uh, work on your Envision with me. Bye.